Hello guys and welcome to Joe's Game and Tech channel again today. Coming to you with a another video on the Multi MC. From my previous video, I showed you how to install Multi MC and set it up. I just wanted to give you another video of that, a little more refined. Also, I'm doing this because I have a new mod pack that I put together. I can't take credit for the complete mod pack because I did not create any of the mods I just kind of assembled them and I'm gonna show you how to get that mod pack into multi MC in the bottom of this YouTube channel I will have the links to all the downloads you will need you will need to download multi MC you will need to go to my Dropbox and download the mod pack and resource pack so let's get started so you download and install multi MC so first things first you're gonna click accounts and you're going to manage your account and that's gonna come up with a screen and you're going to see nothing in this box you click add this is where you put your Mojang or Minecraft account username along with your password click OK it's going to add it as you can see mine is up here you're done there as long as it adds it and accepts it you're good next you're going to want to set up your Java you want to make sure you're using the latest Java Java 8 is the latest which is what I'm using you're going to click on this little computer button computer with like a screwdriver and then on the left here is Java you want to click there now this memory section you don't have to so much set because Java 8 does not use memory settings anymore I have it set because I did I was running Java 7 so it's still set it doesn't make any difference Java 8 doesn't use it so what you want to do is hit auto detect and as you can see it brings you two different versions you should have 64-bit versions if you're running a 64-bit operating system if you're running a 32-bit operating system you should have 32-bit versions click on your version click OK you want to use a 64-bit version of Java if you can because it does not allocate as much RAM to the Java if you're using a 32-bit version so once you're done with that you can hit close now we want to actually create the instance and install the minecraft into the launcher so you got this little box up here this little add a new instance button you're gonna click that I'm gonna name it my modded server and then we want to select our version we're installing version 1.7.10 regular release click OK no group click OK it's gonna do that what you need to do it's important you need to actually run this because that will download files and there it is as you can see there's no forge or anything installed yet so we quit game now since that's installed now we want to edit the instance over here you can either click on it over here or right click on the instance and say edit instance in here you want to click install forge over here on the right you always want the latest forge forge version 1291 is the latest forge for Minecraft version 1710. Click OK. As you can see, it shows up here now. Forge is installed. Click Close. And we launch Minecraft again. Now Minecraft comes up and says it has the Minecraft version along with 
Minecraft Forge and three mods loaded, three mods active. So we can again quit game. Now once you download the mod pack files you will have two folders. Two folders you will have are going to be config and mods. So in multi MC you want to make sure you click on the instance and then click instance folder. That's going to open up the instance folder for you. Here you would click Minecraft and as you can see you now have your config folder and your mods folder. So with this you want to take the configs from the download and just hit control A which will select everything and then copy control C and then go with the config folder in the instance and then paste everything in there. Overwrite anything that is already in there. You want to copy and replace. And we want to do the same for the mods folder. You go to mods and here's all of our mods. Control A, Control C, and then paste is Control V. So there's all of our mods and there's all the configs for the mods. If you did download the resource pack you will also have Fanver Resurrection zip file. You want to put that in the resource packs folder. Again copy and paste into the resource pack folder. You can close these both out now. And then again, launch Minecraft. Do not worry about the red and the orange and everything else that's going to show up in here. It's all expected. And while we wait for it to load. Okay, and as you can see, Minecraft is loaded. It does take some time to load. Down here there is a Feed the Beast Resurrection which it is a 90% Feed the Beast Resurrection pack. All of the mods in the Feed the Beast Resurrection are in this pack. I have just added some to it. Options. We want to select our resource pack. We want to click over that. It's going to put that on the top that's what we want. Click done. And we'll just load a single player up for you so you can see that it does run and that it is stable. We'll just create a regular large biome type. And there you have it. Nice, smooth, modded Minecraft. And just to see how many mods we're running, you can see up in the upper corner 116 mods, 116 mods active. And I'm currently getting 34 frames per second. Um, I didn't set any of my Optifine mode settings yet so that will change that usually sits right around 60. Um, with Optifine there's a lot of nice settings that helps frame rates. So that concludes this tutorial. If you guys have any questions please leave them in the comments below and goodbye.